Welcome to the CatMe Question Manager video. This video focuses on what the Question Manager function does and how to access it, how to add a customized question to a Team Maker survey using the Question Manager function, and how to access community questions uploaded by CatMe faculty from different institutions. CatMe has a function called Question Manager that allows faculty members to write their own questions to use in Team Maker surveys. These questions will not appear in a peer review activity. To use this feature, go to the Class Summary page and click the Question Manager button at the top right hand corner of the screen. This is the Question Manager screen. This page shows all of the questions you currently have access to while creating a Team Maker survey. If you hover over the question title, you can view what the question asks. With the Question Manager function, faculty members have two options. First, to create a brand new question with customizable formatting and answers. And second, to choose a question from a list of community questions contributed by CatMe users from different institutions. To create a new question, click the Add Question button. This is the Question Creator. Click the Next button to start the process. On this page, you will enter in the basic information about the question you are creating. This includes entering a title, the actual question, and what type of question it is. For example, I am creating a question called Pizza Topping, in which students will be asked their favorite pizza topping. This will be a multiple choice choose one question. There are four different types of questions. Numeric, multiple choice choose one, multiple choice choose multiple, and free text. With a numeric question, students are given a text box to input a number as their answer. With a multiple choice choose one question, Students are given a list of answers and can only choose one answer. With a multiple choice choose multiple question, the same list of answers will be shown, but students can choose multiple options before moving on. With a free text question, students are given a large text box and can type in any answer they choose. When you are finished entering the information, Click the Next button. If you made your question a multiple choice question, you will now input the answers to that question. If you made your question a numeric or free text question, this screen will not appear. Input the answers to your question in the Display Text boxes. These inputs are what your students will see when addressing your question. The stored as boxes contain what you will see when accessing the data. If there are not enough blank spaces to input your answers, click the More Answers button to add more input spaces. When you are finished inputting your answers, click the Next button. 
You have now arrived at the Community Created Listing page. If you would like your question to go into a database that all Catme users can access, click the box next to the sentence, I would like to include this in the Community Created Listing for others' use. If you would prefer not to have other Catme users access your custom question, do not click the box. When you have finished, click the Next button. Your question has now been created, and it has been added to your list of questions to use in your Team Maker survey. As you can see by clicking the Done button and arriving back at the Question Manager page. As you can see, the new question has been added to the list of questions you have access to. To access the Community Questions, click the Community Questions button. You have now arrived at the Community Question Import page. Catme users all over the world have contributed to this list of questions. If you choose to import questions without viewing them, Click the checkbox next to the name of the question. Then click the Import Selected Questions button. The question will appear in the list of questions that you can select in your Team Maker survey. To view a question before you choose to utilize it, click the question name. On this screen, you can view the community question in its entirety, from the title to the answers. After viewing the question, you can choose to go back to the community question import page and import the question by clicking the community question button in the top right hand corner. Or, you can choose to edit the question by clicking the Edit Duplicate button, which is what we'll do. Now you can edit the question by changing the title, question, type, or answers. When you are finished editing, click the Save and Return button to save the question and return to the Question Manager page. As you can see, the new question has been added to your list of accessible questions. If you need further assistance, please visit the informational site info.catme.org or email catme support at catme at catme.org. Thank you for watching. This video was produced by Purdue University students Alexandra Malott and Bethany Ellis in conjunction with Catme support.